thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and providing some new PCBs for the upcoming Melty build. So these PCBs are designed to do a couple of things. They reroute all of the stuff so that I can use D-Shot properly. Uh, the old system wasn't running D-Shot, so I had to re kind of wire it by hand. And also I've now got a power board associated or included in here, which should hopefully cut down on some of the very messy wiring that was happening inside the Melty Brain. Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic. So today we are going to look at the most recent version of the Melty Brain. This is TBH. This is a slightly longer chassis design that it had been using in the past. Uh, and it was, as with all of them, a dual spinner horizontal Melty Brain. And it kind of worked. I mean, I was still having issues where spinning up here at home was different than spinning up in the arena, which meant that translation was quite difficult. Uh, but the other problem that I had is kind of characterized by this. There is a nice gash out of this pulley. This is one of two weapon pulleys. This one sat on one end. And there is a nice gash and now flat spot on this weapon pulley where iron tooth hit it. And this is one of the issues is that these pulleys were very, very exposed, especially as the weapon range or weapon range is quite small. So it doesn't take very much to actually outreach these, which means hitting weapon pulleys and breaking weapon systems, which is not something that we wanna do. Now, I have an idea for how to fix this, but that is not today's video because uh, fixing that requires a lot more hardened steel cut pieces. I contacted the place that I get cutting stuff from and they have a very long lead time at the moment and I need a new Melty Brain up and running very quickly uh, so that I can run it at ARC's next meet, which is coming up very, very soon. So today we are going to do something that a lot of you have asked me to do. In fact, I put up a poll on this uh, and the common response was to do fixed teeth melty braining. So we are going to do exactly that. We are going to simplify the melty all the way back down uh, to a very simple form, no spinners, just fixed teeth. And then of course, as mentioned, we have the brand new brain board uh, which will have a teensy put in it, as the old one did, a much more robust voltage regulator, uh, proper power uh, outputting. Hopefully, if this works, the new, new version uh, that comes after this will be a lot smaller and also have more reach and hit harder. Fingers crossed. But first, we need some learning from this particular chassis. And our first step here is going to be to cut some new holes because these were designed to run Annie's old weapons, which means that the weapons stick out a lot further. And also, also I've only got three holes, which actually won't work with these particular star shapes that I have here. So I want to mount these a little bit further back and I'm also going to run these because I'll get three of these to one of Annie's old weapons, which means that I get a thicker stack and therefore are much more likely to have a weapon on weapon collision. So I have printed up some little drill guides which I'll bolt up here and drill through so we can mount the weapons right where I wanted them to be mounted, which is great. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add an extra set of drill holes for a new finger tech switch. I haven't been using switches, I had been using links, but this is gonna save us some weight and some space going forwards, and it's gonna be a good test of this entire system or this switch system for a melty brain. Okay, so the power distribution on this board is now mostly set up. I'd wanted to do a quick test because I've got a little regulator at the end here, but 
it's a variable set regulator. So I kind of want to get that set before I put the Teensy in and accidentally blow it up because plugging this battery straight into the Teensy is definitely going to blow it up. I'm actually running 4S in the Melty Brain for this particular iteration. Just getting a little bit more speed and hopefully a little bit more translation out of it is the plan. Uh, anyway, let's plug this in. Hopefully the switch is off. I don't really know. I haven't used these switches before. It seems like it is off. Let's give it a, a twist. There we go. So we are outputting nine volts, which is probably a little bit too high. Uh, so we're going to turn that down just a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, I might actually unplug this before we do that. Now that that's done and set to a decent value, which is five volts, we're going to just super glue it down so that the uh, potentiometer cannot move from this point onwards. Basically just so that when we get hit, we don't have the potentiometer accidentally move and then fry the, um, the microcontroller, which is running the entire Melty Brain, because that would be a bad, bad thing. Uh, with some of that down, all we need to do now is throw a little bit of bicarb soda on it, just a tiny, tiny amount. Um, I've got some bicarb here. Oh, that's way too much. Good thing I did that into my hand and not onto the board. And all that bicarb is going to do is just going to kick that super glue immediately and set it up on our potentiometer. And that'll be good. There we go. No, 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 fuck. Ah, so that didn't go particularly well. Uh, the Melty is not fully tuned currently uh, because it's a, basically a new build, especially with the new balance of all of the internals, which speaking of, it seems like the battery shifted while doing that testing. Uh, and also between those two tests, you can see the importance of the feet under here. So we've got two little skids that actually help the Melty brain stay up and not rock too far and yeah, you saw in those tests, the first test had no skid at all, uh, and we just got wild fluctuations in the melty value or the heading value uh, when the outside edges touched the ground. But these guys helped out a lot uh, until I broke one. So I'm now rush printing a whole brand new set of those. Hopefully they will be done in time. I also made up some new wheels, but those are gonna have to go on at the event because the event is mere hours away at this point in time. Uh, so, the big final question here is weight. Do we have enough weight or how much weight do we have to stack on weapon teeth? Because uh, that is going to be an important factor here. So let's take a look at this. Um, 
scale. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. So we're at 670, uh, no, 643 grams. We are less than half weight at the moment. That is scary. Uh, so those are the spacer blocks for the weapon teeth. 674 grams now. All right, let's uh, throw the weapons on. Huh. With the whole weapon stack up, we're at one kilo and 151 grams. Uh, so with four M5 bolts, we probably, or eight M5 bolts, we probably actually will be okay with that. Hang on, let's see. One, two, three, four. We're not touching the ground anywhere. No, we're at 1.2. Cool, okay, we are definitely gonna put on the big, or all of the weapons then. Cool, okay. But also damn, because that means that the weapons, the mass at the outer edges is half of the entire robot. That could be where some of the melting issue was happening. <sighs> this is where I'm gonna have to leave this video. I now need to rush, get new bolts, uh, and get those in, because these bolts are actually a little bit too long. Well, a lot too long. Uh, they stick way, 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 way up. Uh, and I'm gonna hopefully have to try and tune this in the arena at ARC <coughs> in like an hour or so, because yeah, that's all the time I've got. That's understandable. So uh, that test was interesting because uh, the wheels broke, but the wheels broke for the same reason they broke last time. They were old flexible PLA prints, uh, which were fairly thin across the front face where they got mounted and they'd been used in a couple of different melting attempts. So they were just old and brittle and not that great, basically. Uh, these new wheels are TPU with a urethane uh, wheel on them or tire on them. So they actually worked a lot better, but I will leave that whole discussion for the fight report. The fight event has happened already. I know how that all went. Uh, and I'm just going to say you right now, subscribe if you want to see how this melty brain uh, goes. You will not regret that. Also, as you can see, the weapon teeth are now on and actually the, the melty is balanced. Right now, it is not touching the ground on either one of the skids underneath. And you can see I've balanced it by uh, putting a, well, removing a bolt on one side here because yeah, uh, the battery and everything kind of slides a bit to the back, which means there's extra weight here. So taking out one of the bolts meant that everything mostly balanced. I will say wheel position does seem to affect that a little bit. If I click the wheel over a position, it does hit the ground at the back here. So it's kind of a case of balancing it good enough. I think it's because these wheels aren't perfectly central. I need to work on that and do better at that in the future, but we can definitely do that. Yeah, so I think that's where we're at for this particular video. As you can fairly clearly see, I am being hampered currently by being unable to test this multi brain at home. There is a solution to that coming as well. So again, uh, if you wanna see the interesting things about to happen in that space, uh, subscribe and we will go through them together. Like I said, there is a fight video for this now coming out next week. That's gonna be good. Uh, I probably am going to do a breakdown video on this as well because just looking at it now post fights, I can tell you that there is definitely some interesting stuff uh, to look at in a fight breakdown or in a robot breakdown. That is probably going to be it for this one. Uh, I can't wait for you to see how this performed at ARC's February meet. So I'll see you in that video.